Well, I'll tell you what, I couldn't wait to get to this nugget because this ha was and is and probably always will be a huge area of passion for me. It is the support, feeding, and care of software. Let's dig in. By the time you're done with this nugget, you will understand and have an appreciation for the importance of typical desktop support tasks that are going to be related to caring for the important software of the organization. Notice I said important because we both know not all software is going to be created equal. One of the most critical pieces of software that's going to be in your enterprise is the desktop itself. What many of your end users are going to think of as their desktop. We are referring, of course, to the operating system. We are still a very Windows-centric world when it comes to your end users. It is still heavily biased that way. But in the introduction to the course, you remember me pointing out to you that there's plenty of Mac, there's plenty of Linux out there in the world. And that's great because variety is the spice of life. So let me show you a couple of typical things that I might be doing in the area of proactive. Once again, we want to be really proactive when it comes to the support of the operating systems. It's amazing to me how things have changed when it comes to operating systems because typically the tools we need are built right in free of charge. They're included free of charge with the operating system. And sometimes even the operating system is free of charge. Here, notice if I go into the about area of my Windows 10 system, you'll see that our PC is monitored it's protected. You'll see that I was very careful to make sure that I provided a processor and that I provided enough RAM to make sure that this machine could do the job for me well of producing videos for you. If we scroll down, you'll see I'm using a professional edition of Windows 10 because I need to be able to participate in what is called the directory service of my enterprise should I want to. Very, very important stuff. Now, as I said, the tools I need are going to be built right in. And let me show you that. One of the things that operating systems really need is plenty of free space on the disk in order to be operationally efficient. And that gets challenging these days because disks are getting smaller as a result of solid state drive technology. So we were going way up in sizes like you could get a very inexpensive two terabyte mechanical disk before, but now we would spend a lot of money. It would be cost prohibitive to try and do like a two terabyte solid state disk drive. So my disk drive is relatively small compared to the olden days. And that's where it's very important for me to go into the properties of that drive and make sure it is cleaned up. So notice Microsoft gives us a disk cleanup utility that I can go in and free up space with. They also provide a checker for the integrity of the storage system. So we can go in and we can check the drive for errors. And unlike previous versions of Windows, this is super enhanced because we don't even have to reboot the operating system in order to perform these checks. Notice I'm doing something pretty amazing right now compared to what we used to have to do. I'm doing the check and I'm doing it while I'm doing some rather intense work, and that is create this nugget for you right now live on this machine. In fact, it's taking a little bit longer than normal because of how busy this workstation is. And in the desktop support arena, one thing that we're doing is we are typically performing our work with the software in the organization during times of very little usage. We have what we like to call maintenance windows, and that's where we do tasks like this to ensure that things are running smoothly. Now let me go back to the About My PC section of Settings and I'll click Home so you can see the Settings categories on this Windows 10 system. And notice it's not just the operating system that I'm using, but it's a bunch of applications installed in that operating system. Once again, Microsoft has software built in for me here to manage the various applications. And it never fails that I'll come in here periodically and I will see applications that are unauthorized for this device. I'm not allowed to play Bubble Witch 3 Saga on my CBT Nuggets Nugget making machine. And so I just took care of the removal of that software on this device. 
keeping the device limited to only that authorized, supported, tested software is another great step to keeping a desktop machine running smoothly. So remember, just like with hardware, notice this presentation doesn't change. We want to be proactive, not reactive. The more proactive maintenance and care we do with our software, the less we have to react to major problems in the desktops that exist in our environment. And remember, I'm expanding desktops here to also include mobile devices in many cases. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.